The Sith Lords' greed for power resulted in their own demise a millennia before the Clone Wars. Darth Bane, being the sole survivor, established the Rule of Two to prevent another Sith downfall and rebuild in the shadows. But before the Rule of Two, when there were many Sith across the galaxy, the Sith followed a different doctrine. In their quest for absolute power, the Sith Lords aspired to master a rare pairing called a Force Dyad. The doctrine of the Dyad was inscribed in the walls of the Sith Citadel on Exegol. Though difficult to achieve, and even more rare when formed naturally, its potential was unrivaled. The Dyad would connect two beings at all times through the Force. A Dyad allowed two Sith to communicate across the galaxy, and not just verbally communicate, but also experience the other's emotions. The communicative power of the Force Dyad was so strong that even objects that were close to the users could be transferred instantly. When in close proximity, the Dyad was at its strongest and made the two members even more powerful. The Dyad pair would gain foresight, anticipating each other's actions, allowing for unparalleled synergy in combat. And most importantly, the Dyad pair could share their life force with one another. This power could resuscitate a downed partner at the expense of the other's life force. Ultimately, the power of the Dyad eluded the Sith in the Bane line. Plagueis attempted to force a Dyad with Sidious and Sidious with Vader to no avail. Even though Plagueis and Sidious were close to fully unlocking the power of transference, the power of the Dyad remained unconquerable. So that's going to do it here for today's video, guys. Hopefully y'all have enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And other than that, have a great rest of your day and may the force be with you.